Here we go. Here we go. You seen him on the late show with Stephen Colbert. You seen him on Comedy Central. You know him from MTV's Wild and Out. Give it up for my guy, Jacob Williams. Wow, thank you. All right. Wow, thank you so much. Keep it going for Charles and Maddie. Give it up for them. All right. Wow, thank you so much. Good to be here. Someone just told me I look like the leader of a Bible study group. I think they were making fun of me, but it didn't really bother me. That's like the first time someone's referred to me as a leader. So... I think I, look, I just look really religious. This lady came up to me this week. She's like, do you believe in God? I was like, I don't even know if I believe in myself. <laughs> I am not very confident. Like last week I stuttered in a text message. So <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. But I'm trying to be more confident. I started going to therapy. I was like, yeah, I think I'm a people pleaser. My therapist is like, that's a good insight. I was like, I was hoping you'd say that. My therapist told me, he thinks I worry too much about what people think. I was like, wait a minute, who told you that? And... <laughs> Sometimes they'll be like, what do you think about what you just said? I'm like, that's what I was about to ask you, actually. <laughs> I thought I should get a professional opinion. I don't think firefighters show up like, hey, how would you put this out? <laughs> I don't know, I'm the arsonist. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I started going to therapy. It was partly to get through a breakup, and you're supposed to avoid places that remind you of your ex, but that's kind of tough, because we met on Earth. <laughs> so that's been coming up a lot. A lot of things still remind me of her. Like, if I'm eating at this one restaurant in my neighborhood, I'll be like, I remember when she used to eat food. I don't know what she's doing. She unfriended me on Facebook. If I miss her, I'd have to go to like Venmo or something. <laughs> Just be like, she paid Charlotte with a soup emoji. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> According to her LinkedIn, she's been at this place for 12 months. That's a lot longer than we were together. <laughs> Did not expect to be jealous of someone's relationship with the Staples HR department. <laughs> but I tried different things to get over the breakup. I tried working out more. They're like, feel the burn. I'm like, I did when she said, I don't want to see you again. <laughs> At this point, my fitness goal is just to be able to lift up my spirits. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. I tried joining a dating app like right after the breakup, which doesn't really make you feel better when you still care about the last person you dated. It's like if your grandma died and you're like, that's okay, there's a nursing home right over there. 